Recording. There. Separate recording start. I'm married to science? No, I'm not good enough for science. Alright. I'm actually completely... I, <laughs> I stopped paying attention to these at some point today, because I think I'm actually done with literally everything I can do. Alright. <laughs> I forget what I was even doing. Like I said, I'm kind of at a stucking point. Uh, st <laughs> That's the main reason I switched over to this. Otherwise, I probably just would have passed out early. Try to get my sleep schedule back on, um, back on track in time for, um, for, uh, for what's it called? Oh, shit, I gotta update. I, I need to change the game. <laughs> False advertising is bad. Oh, God, what did I call this? Uh, Xenophobia to the Meckoning. All right. There we go. Good enough. Anybody want to be inducted into the Common Rider cult? We are always accepting new members into the Common Rider cult. Okay, let's see. This is, uh, for, for those watching this on YouTube later, hello. We just did some Ace Attorney, and now we're doing this. Because otherwise I'm stuck with this game. <laughs> I'm typing loud, purposely typing loudly. I'm not, actually. I just type loudly. All right, so first things first, I picked uh, Aegean's core is ready to pop open again, and I also got that uh, that sealed core from that altar. So first and foremost, Aegean's the it can only be awake, awoken by Morag. Let's give it to Morag. You would like to be inducted, Boop, but you don't know where to watch it. Like I said, it's it's kind of hard to uh. Unless you can download them, it's kind of hard to find online. There are sites that have them to watch online. But it's usually better to download it. My name is Aegean. Oh, I've been pronouncing it wrong. Sorry, bro. Let my sword be your safeguard. Alrighty. I also just realized by getting him, I actually need to go farm more gold chips. I, I've been I've been farming gold chips in addition to cores. I still don't have the ability to farm uh, legendaries reliably, unfortunately. Like, I'm just not quite high level enough for it. And until I progress with the plot, there's no real easy way for me to get high enough level for it. Alright, that's Aegean. Second of all, the sealed one. We're going to give this to the Zekanator, because he's the real main character. Y'all like dragons? Y'all like dragon waifus? Y'all like lasers? I like all of these things. My name is Harold. Oh my. I pray you can contain my power. Harold, look, no judgy. You thought of Rhea when I said that? She kind of actually looks a little like Rhea, doesn't she? Like, same-ish same, same -ish hairstyle. <laughs> Harold. Look, don't judge. No bully. She's trying her best. She's very nice. <laughs> okay. And now for the, uh, the quote-unquote fun part. Uh... I'll stick with I'll I'll stick with rares and possibly legendaries if we don't get jack shit. I also do guess I should be using these. Everyone's favorite. That's a co-worker's name, not a dragon waifu's. <laughs> Look. She she's trying her best. Gotcha. Look, gotcha is one of the best parts of this game. 
<laughs> it's not the most interesting thing to watch, but like I said, I did promise that I would show. I would. I did promise I wouldn't open any of these off screen. So, I warned y'all this would probably happen at some point. The best part about it being only the best part about this, if I do end up only opening cores, is that I don't have to start up the mat counter. You make sure to read the thing the Mara Boop. Ooh, yay! We might have another for the herd! For the hood. No, I don't want to set him. Why would I ever? Why would I ever want to open him with Rex? Good God, I've got the real main character right here. You need something to binge watch? Yeah. Yeah, like I said, it's not. I don't even just show. At this point, I don't even just show Common Rider to show Common Rider because I like it. I show Kamen Rider because it's a very long-running franchise, and I know people, um, and I know a lot of people are, like, bored out of their minds right now, still out of work, still out of school and stuff, and just need something to watch. Are we setting up the rewrite Xenoblade 2 story? We could talk about that. I feel bad for not, like, making it an official, like, advertised thing for people to join in, but we can absolutely talk about that. God knows I need something to talk about while we do this. <laughs> We already got some pretty good blueprints in, in place. Make a chat for him in Discord? I could do that. And a Google Doc? Oh my god. I don't really know how to work Google Docs. Somebody else wants to, by all means. But I'm not really good with that stuff. Some actual points of the story we'd keep? Yeah, yeah. Like, um... Like, I'm, I'm totally okay with, like, the initial setup for the most part. Like, the idea of Rex just kind of stumbling into this role. Even him dying and come back, coming back to life. I think I think that's a decent start. Uh, mo most characters, for the most part, are fine. Like I said, I think I think Nia's introduction might have to be tweaked a little. If, he, if, if we go with the idea that he wouldn't encounter Jin and Malos as early, like, it would just be fun anime hijinks with him not knowing the full threat at first, then Nia might have to be slightly reworked and not be introduced quite as early since she was with Torna at the start. Do a bit of research on how to keep everyone honest. Ah, cool, cool. For the very thing, we can keep everything. Just minus Bana and the Torn encounter. Yeah, yeah, basically. Like, Bana can, er... Can Bana not stay? Why can't Bana stay? Rex is stabbing me a mystery and keep this killer unknown. Yeah, yeah, like, he could die, but, like, he... We wouldn't know, like, who it was, necessarily. He's a leader. Oh, yeah, no. Well, okay, so, like, before a time skip, like, before the time skip happened, he would in no way, shape, or form being a leader. We can keep him 14 at first. He will be, he can stay 14 at first, and then a time skip will happen, and he can be older. And at which point, then he can come off as more a leader. Like, that's fine. Like, after he's had time to mature... But, like, at fir for the first half before the time skip, no, he would absolutely not be in a leader role. Like, he would just kind of... I again, if we're rewriting things that he hasn't met Nia, maybe yet, then, like, he might not have any companions at first. Like, it could just straight up be him and Pyra. On that note, as much as I'd, lo I'd love to say, just ditch Pyra outright, just because she's not very interesting. But again, even... Oh, I did not need to open with her, good god. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, first three chapters would be anime hijinks. We're not doing Brother Brother with Wolfric. No, I mean, Wolfric will still be a thing. Like, I mean, you could do something where, like, yeah, you make Wolfric more important. Oh, 
Already. Oh, yeah. This is gonna be the grinds. Let's do a screeching hold. Is continually having to do this. I... But no, like, uh, Pyra can still be a thing. But like I said, it would have to be what I said. With her being much more obviously a manifestation of Mithra's survivor's guilt. Okay. And fear of uh, doing something again. And less just, oh, I'm another waifu because whatever. Goodbye. We can have Nia keep her tour identity secret until after the time. Ooh, that'd be much cooler. Yeah. Goodbye. Yeah, Nia can still be around at the start, but just not, it not be clear. Don't know if the older brother thing is too cliche. Oh, the idea to give Rex an older brother? It, no, that's a good idea. Like, that is a good... Like, cliche or not, it is cliche, but, like, cliches aren't bad. And, like, um... El hermano. <laughs> um... <laughs> like, it, it, it's a good tool. It, it's a good tool if you need to set up, like, a younger character who shouldn't necessarily have been the hero be the hero. Like, that's what, um, you could argue that's what Gurren Lagann did with Kamina. That's what Final Fantasy XII did. Kind of. Again, I've not played through Final Fantasy... I, I started to watch a playthrough of Final Fantasy XII at one point, and I believe they used a similar setup by, like, making you think that you were following the older brother, and instead, ah, surprise, he's dead. Here's the younger one. It's a coming-of-age story. So, yeah, give him, yeah, give him an older brother... Maybe one who looks exactly like Adam. I don't... If you want to be weird and, like, confirm the reincarnation thing. Until the Torta people recognize her after killing Van Damme, then we'll put a strain with Rex. Yeah, yeah. Fire Emblem 4 is also kind of like that. Ooh, neat. Grande Malos. You'd rather have a father figure instead of a brother figure? I was gonna say, I'd say Van Damme as a, uh, as a father figure. But, like, that would still make his death pretty early. But, I mean, if, um... Like I said, Van Damme's death, it, being that early, it is effective in theory, like him only being a party member for one chapter. Like, all that stuff does work. But yeah, like, if he's the father figure, then, like, make him playable from the beginning. Y'all just want more daddies in the game? Shh, don't give away the secret. His death would be two chapters later. Yeah, his death would be, like, the trigger of the time skip, right? How many special blades am I still missing? Four. We are looking for, uh, Dagas, um, Dagas, Zenobia, Vale, and, uh, and Cosmos. <laughs> what if Rex was to begin with and Banna was tasty? Like, drop the whole, s if, if we're losing Banna, if we're losing Banna, at least at the start, then you could also, in theory, drop the, uh, drop him be even being a salvager. Like, he could just be an orphan in the mercenary village. And, like, have this have this pre-established relationship with Van Damme where he's known him a lot longer. You figured out why Cast has such low reviews. What is Cast? It's only available on more recent miles of phones. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm not sure what that is, but that's a shame. To be fair, that is always obnoxious when you look to download an app and it's like, oh, you need a newer phone. Oh my god, I just realized since I have a new phone, I can finally actually download the Papa John's app. Yo! Oh, I'm gonna get so much fucking pizza. Just making my other taco. Yeah, no, like I said, I we, we I talked a little bit about, about Tor before. Like I said, you would have to, um... You would really have to play up the... Like, Tor can mostly stay the same, just tone down the, uh, the otaku shit. But, like, mostly, um... 
mostly all you would have to do with Tor is just like really play up what happened with his grandpa and dad and emphasize the fact that he's been alone for so long. And like I said, just in, so instead of, oh, him and his whole family have always wanted to be drivers, but they couldn't because reasons. Instead of that, maybe it's just Tor specifically. Like maybe his, like his grandparents, his dad and grandpa would obviously still be doing the research, but maybe it would just be like work for hire stuff. But, uh, but Tor would want to make Poppy not because just, oh, I've always wanted to be a driver because reasons and I want my maid. It would just be because he's been so lonely being without his, um, his family for so long. That's honestly all you would have to do with him. Oh, it's an app. Okay, gotcha. To watch stuff with friends. all. Cool, cool. Rexator would meet during a Merc training session, like trading parts. Oh, yeah, yeah. This will be the one. <laughs> Cautiously optimistic. Would we change Poppy's look? I'm okay with Poppy's design for the most part. Like I said, um... Her first one I think is fine. Like, I don't think it's overly fan service or gross. Her second one is kind of pushing it. But again, it, it looks just enough to... It looks just close enough to be more like a magical girl than a maid. That I don't really mind it. Especially if you've toned down Tora's otaku shit. Her third form. <laughs> Y'all haven't seen her third form yet. That's another discussion for another day. But, um... <laughs> oh, you meant this one? <laughs> you learned recently if your main character is killed off, nothing happens to other characters, you have a bad story. Kind of helps you're writing a bit. Boop. Yeah. Oh, no, definitely. That's very true. I really wish you could skip this opening animation. <laughs> It'd be nice. Okay, that's this one. <laughs> Just believe really hard that everyone is going to be the one. And I believe... If it keeps Zeke as is. Um, as long as you have another character like, a, like Van Damme to fill the mentor role, you don't want to go like... You don't want to make Zeke too serious, so, um... I think Zeke's pretty much fine as is. Yeah, honestly. Still like Rex to be a salvager's pop type. Not, yeah, I, I said, yeah, I, I mentioned getting rid of the salvagers thing, but like, there's nothing wrong with him being a salvager. Like, that's, like, that's what he does on the side to make money until he's ready to be a mercenary or something. Because, like, there's, obviously there's nothing wrong with being a, uh, is rare supposed to be rarer than legendary? No. <laughs> No, it goes common, rare, legendary. I should be, technically, I I can't farm for legendaries yet, so I'm trying to hold off on opening those. I will open those if I still don't have them all by the end of these uh, these rare cores, which I probably won't. But I just, I'm not high level enough, and there's no way to get high level enough without progressing into the story further. Outside of very tedious grinding, which I've established I don't like doing in these games. Did I not favorite you? I meant to favorite everyone. Everyone's favorited. You're all, you're all beautiful. God, I wish I could get rid of this one. It's so stupid. Also, I need, wait, I need to actually be paying attention to elements. Shit, that's right. Okay. Wait a minute. All right. Uh, earth, you can go. Uh, electric, you can go. Uh... I was just get, I was getting rid of stuff willy nilly there. I forgot. I forgot my strategy. If it even actually works, like I said, this could be placebo effect. I never found out for sure if this um actually is programmed into the game to work or not. He could discover Pyro during a salvage. Oh, I didn't even think about that. Yeah, yeah, totally. Yeah, that's how he could find her. Like rather rather than this obviously suspicious special assignment where these people these suspicious ass people only want people born in a certain village to uh, to come along with them, he just fucking finds her on accident. No, 
carro. The one bad thing is I'm going to start running out of room much like I'm going to run out of room real quickly doing this. So I hope I get at least one uh, one of those relatively soon. So there are le that's less types I have to keep around. Again, if it even works. You can't get rid of the first plate. It's so obnoxious. Like, if they at least made it better. Like, if they, if they made the first one, you get, like, an automatic three-star, at least, or something. Something at least moderately helpful. That'd be one thing. Would we keep Grandpa? We can keep Grandpa. Grandpa's fine. I'm curious to know, like, Grandpa apparently does have some kind of role in Torna, because he already knows uh, Mithra. Or recognizes Pyra, rather. So I don't know, like, what kind of role Gramps actually plays in the backstory, but, like, in as a, in this game, he's fine. As long as he's not talking about shoving stuff up his butt. Do five legendaries. <laughs> I'm worried the legendaries are going to purge my luck. Here's the way I'm thinking of it. I feel like if I do the legendaries, I'm guaranteed to get at least one out of the 25 I already have. So the more I pull out in the meantime, maybe I'll get two out of them. I don't know. Zeke, my dog. Come on, man. Maybe in the other games we actually get to see Grandpa have something in his butt, good God. Thought you couldn't get dupes of specials? You can't. All right, what do you mean specials? You mean the rare ones? You can't. No, I'm just saying, I'm, think I'm, thinking, I'm thinking like probabilities in my head. I'm thinking if, well, let's say I pull all 70 whatever of these, and I get like two rares out of it. I only have two left. I feel like there's a better, ch it, there probably isn't actually, but I feel like there's a better chance of me getting both the last two out of the legendaries. If I can get both the rares out of this, I don't know. Makes sense in my head. Want to have the Torna conversation? Yeah, oh yeah, we can have whatever conversations we want. Like I said. What else we got to talk about? Playing Gasha. It's either how to fix this game or Common Rider. I also really wish Yes was the default. But with Torna, okay. So if so if Rex just finds Pyre on accident, like Torna. Torna can show up a lot later. Like, um... I mean, not a lot later, because they have to kill Van Damme at some point. But, um... My first... My, my immediate thought with Torna, something I was thinking about the other day, I don't think I ever properly articulated, is mainly just right off the bat, kind of, you need to switch around the order of the reveals with them. Because they just kind of casually drop the fact that Malice is an Aegis in conversation in, like, Chapter 3. <laughs> like... That's way too soon. Like, you can reveal he's a blade that early. But, like, it's just not as big a deal. Like, you, they reveal Malice as an e They reveal that Malice is an E just before they reveal that Jin's even a blade. Like, those reveals need to be reversed. Fuck Akka. <laughs> yeah, like... Like, the rest of Torna is so superfluous. Like, you could honestly get rid of them completely. You could technically, if you needed to just establish that, hey, Torna has more than two people in it, you could keep them around. But, like, you either need to rewrite their characters completely or just, like, make them obvious mooks. And not try to play them up as important like they continually do with them. Because, again, none of them are. They've tried to imply some stuff, and it does kind of mean stuff? Maybe? Perhaps? But, like, it's... It's pointless. Nothing they do with them is stuff they don't do with other characters. I think we went to Drider working at the other two. So you're saying Akos. Akos is the only one we lose completely. And we need to just change the other two. Like I said, I, I know we, we probably can't get rid of Mikhail. Uh, uh, Mikhail. 
I don't again. I don't know what his deal is for sure. All I know is that he is in uh he is in the prequel. I'm not sure what his exact role is in the prequel. I just know that he is there. So assuming Torna is actually good, which I've heard nothing but good things about Torna. Like I've heard, I've seen many people say it's better than the main game. So um, I'm gonna take their word that Torna doesn't necessarily need fixing. If we assume Torna doesn't necessarily need fixing, then I guess me Kyle has to kind of stay. Because we have to be a completely different person. <laughs> Keep his name, but that's it. Rex does his side job like normal. Wishes to be a merc, get more money for his village. Next day, accidentally finds Pyra. Gets killed by an unknown killer. Gets revived. Promises to stay to Elysium, but needs to become a merc first. <laughs> this is the one. Never mind. <laughs> oh god. Like I said, people wanted to see this on screen. <laughs> I could have kept grinding for rares and just opening up along the way as I did stuff off screen, but nah. It's part of the experience. This is Xenoblade 2, right here. This madness. <sighs> be the one, be the one. All right, that's a <laughs> I've got to work on the English lyrics to build. It's like if a common a common writer show finally has official lyrics, I need to know them. You fine with this? It's chill boop. Yeah, yeah. No, like I said, I think I figured I had already kind of decided in my head that if I couldn't finish Ace Attorney for whatever reason today, then um, I saw Doggus. I saw Doggus right there. It's not that he wasn't the last one, but I did see him. Give me Doggus. No, I don't want to set him. Good God. Not common. Give me Doggus. Like, I, I decided that if I had to, like, um, if Ace Attorney ended up being short, that I would switch to this. Because, like I said, I've been, I've been maxed out on these for a while. I keep seeing Zenobia, too. I don't, I, I, I can't recognize the other two silhouettes on site, but I keep seeing Dagus and I keep seeing, uh, seeing Zenobia. Cosmos is where you would think Cosmos would be a lot more distinct than hers is. But, like, you can literally go, uh, Google Cosmos Silhouette Xenoblade 2, and, like, it looks kind of indistinct. <laughs> like, I honestly can't tell it apart from normal ones. Rex keeps a stupid outfit post tasking before to signify how naive and childish she is. And gets her armor afterwards. Oh, totally. I'm, I'm cool with that. Yeah. No, he can keep the stupid outfit at first. Just gotta change. To be fair, he does get a he does get another outfit in the main game now. He doesn't have it yet, he will. But it's honestly not better. Like in theory it looks cooler, but the worst part of his current outfit is the stupid little short shorts. You'll just scream until it happens. Whatever works. <laughs> Whatever makes you feel better. The worst part about his outfit is the stupid little short shorts, and he still has those even in his in his second outfit, even though it theoretically should be a lot cooler. He remembers his time with Van Damme as a child back in the village. Gets to Gormont. Gets attacked randomly and Grandpa is dead, but now a baby dingo. <laughs> Can I pop like 10 at once? I fucking wish. I could skip the animations. Like, I could skip the actual awakening, but then if it's something rare, then we miss out. Like, that would at least expedite the process a little, but eh. This game loves short shorts. Rex, Pyra, Florin. Other plates have them too. Yeah, yeah, this game is all about the booty shorts.
I'm all about that booty. At the booty. And this is to go even further beyond! Ah! What do I think about making the two Torta members companions you get later? I'd be okay with that. Especially considering a new game plus thing that I won't get into right now. But yeah, as long as like, they actually did interesting stuff with them and they weren't just three useless people. <laughs> Pirates supposed to be serious, somewhat gullible person who's supposed to deal with the guilt that myth reveals, right? Yeah, yeah. Like, at least that's my interpretation. Like, in actuality, they just wanted two waifus. That's obvious. But, like, the way I kind of justify Pyra's existence in my head is the fact that, yeah. Because Pyra's so different from her, and I feel like Mithra has a lot of self-doubt and issues, and again, survivor's guilt over what happened 500 years ago. And so, just, like I said, Pyra is literally... Pyra was created so she could hide away. Again, that's my interpretation with it, and obviously in a rewrite, you would have to emphasize that a little more. I was gonna say, I think Gabriel was just going boop. <laughs> Beep. Zenobia, stop photobombing me. If you're not gonna come out, then stop even showing up. Anything we can change about Morag? Like I said, I think Morag's honestly fine for the most part as well. Like, I don't really have... I don't. I, I straight up don't really have any issue with Morag as a character. Like, for the most... Like, again, her... She's... Her voice actress does a fine job in spite of the way it was recorded. Like, I honestly don't really have any issue with her. Let's talk about how much we hate Zenobia until she appears. Man, Zenobia is so stupid, guys. Zenobia? More like Zedumdia. What even is her design? What's that thing around her neck? Is it a fox? Is it a boa? I don't even know. Her affinity chart? Pfft. Stupid. Lame. Zenobia? Mm-mm-mm. Lame. We don't even need her. We don't need her so much we're out of space. <laughs> Zenobia! You're breaking my heart. You're shaking my confidence daily. Oh, Zenobia, I'm begging you please to come home. Butcher the order of that. Let's create the... Happens to find a confrontation with the village. Racist stuff. Nia gets arrested from protecting a child from soldiers. Rex wants to save her because she probably has the info he needs. After the jailbreak, he bumps into cooler Torah. <laughs> I like this plan. We could change Pyra's outfit to represent what she's supposed to represent. Give her some type of casual dress. Not armor. Not boot plate. Actual armor. Yeah, I was gonna say, like, it feels <laughs> like I feel bad calling her out and saying change her clothes too, but yeah. Like, maybe make her outfit a little more conservative. And like I said, I feel like she was created to be this Nyamato Nadeshko ass, um, like, archetype because Mithra is so on the opposite end of the spectrum of that. So I was like, I make her dress like one. Maybe she, she can dress like a maid. Again, I don't have a problem with fan service as long as it looks good. She could have a maid motif and be just this more subservient passive type. I'd be totally cool with that. I really want, I, I kind of want Veil more than anything else, seeing how many darks I have. I think I have more darks than anything else. Get rid of her G-string, get rid of the G-string. Are we taking away Rex's companions until the time skip? Um, Nia, I think, would be fine. I, I, I think Nia would be fine. He might be able to have an encounter with Zeke and Morag, but they definitely would not be full-on party members until later. I 
I feel like a skirt would be an excuse for lots of panty shots with Pyra. <laughs> I mean, look, like, if this game, this game is going to go that direction, like, this game was always going to be the fan service -y game. I don't know why they decided to go that route, but they did. Um, if this game is always going to be fan service -y, then it is what it is. All I ask is that they, may, they at least make the designs look good. If it results in the panty shots, whatever. I hate Zenobia. Actually, I'm using Brave Boosters now again, so I hate Dagus. Dagus, pfft. Fucking loser. Tor would definitely complete Poppy after the homeskipping would drive after all these years. Yeah, yeah. Not talking about a short skirt, feel longer, like knee length. Would be good, make her more serious, yeah. Dagus. More like Hagen Das. Because he eats a lot of ice cream. Because he's fat and a loser. <laughs> Dagus. I'm also going to start using five boosters at a time instead of one. I don't think it actually changes anything. Again, I think the boosters are kind of BS. If I'm understanding how they work correctly. But, um, but eh. Just for the sake of, uh, actually getting room. Because you get, if you may have noticed, you get boosters when you release the blades. So you max back out on them pretty quickly. Honestly, surprised they didn't put Pyra in panty type armor bottles with no cover. More I would show up after arresting Nia, but would it reveal what Nia is? Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, like, she doesn't, she, she would not owe this kid an explanation. She would just take her away. Giving him a deep relationship with Van Damme wouldn't be a lie. Yeah, no, exactly. No, like, um... So when Van Damme does die, and I hate to still kill Van Damme, but, like, it, it, as long as it actually serves a purpose and makes believable stuff happen, which it would in this case, then, yeah, like, I, it, killing off Van Damme uh, over before the time skip gives Rex a believable reason to be in charge of mercenaries. They had this pre-established bond. Face this. Oh shit, sorry, but, uh, sorry, boop, what I miss. We could also make it so that Pyra doesn't actually fall in love with Rex, but through her act interactions, Mithra does. And maybe she doesn't reveal herself to Rex for the longest time when she does. Both Rex and Mithra have a difficult time accepting the fact that Mithra is a shell. And have to do with oh no, boop, yeah, no, that's what I want. Yeah, totally. No, absolutely. Like, M Mithra would be uh, something she kept from him, along with a lot of other stuff about her. Like, she would actually have to be a kind of darker character. Like, maybe not even know about the Aegis shit right away. And yeah, no. And, on, on, and honestly, yeah, like... I, 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 I get that there's a gimmick of switching between the two. But... I mean, I'd, I'd say, honestly, by the end of the story, not necessarily right away. Not, not right when Mithra's revealed. But at some point by the end of the story, I think Pyra would have to go away for good. Or at least make you make a choice between the two that actually matters. Like, after the Torna attack and killing a Van Damme, he would question it. Yeah, oh yeah, no, yeah. Like, Torna attacking would, would, um, would make them realize what Pyra is. And he would have to cope with the fact that she lied to him at all that, all this time. And because of it, and you could argue because of it, that's what got Van Damme killed. That's what brought this destruction upon them, because she wasn't forthcoming with this information. You don't think she, Pyra should be a permanent character? If something has to happen, we're either Pyra... Exactly, Boop, yeah, yeah. No, that's what I'm, that's what I'm saying, yeah. Like, either get rid of Pyra... Either get rid of Pyra outright when Mithra wakes up, or have them switch between the two, but in the end, you ultimate, it ultimately leads to some kind of sacrifice, where one has to go for good. You're really behind poop. Oh my god, I'm sorry. Rules of nature! Nia becomes a companion by Rex offering to help her get a job with the Mercs since he knows Van Damme. Aww. That's pure. 
Get some sip, you got a boo. Making me really want to play Tales of Abyss. If I do a 3DS game, I need to play it. It's tons better. Ooh, very interesting. Cool, cool. Oh yeah, Spice, I meant to ask. Shit, who should I, um... I I'm gonna trust you since you're the authority. Who should I, who should I be for the title card? For, uh, for Zestiria? Should I just be Sor uh, Soray? Or is there someone funnier? And if so, is it safe to look up pictures of them? Velvet, that's Bers that's Bersuria. <laughs> just go with Soray since he's the main boy, yeah. Yeah, that's the uh, the prequel. Might do Bersuria after Zestiria. If we're not sick of Tales games. You want a five star? The second one is a five star. I see Zenobia again. That's not her. That's not her. Yeah, we're out. We're out of. Uh, we're out of uh, what's it called? Yeah, we're out of uh, the other boosters. So it's all it's all truth now. Back on the Zenobia train. God, I hate Zenobia. So stupid. Possibility that Nia might have told them where the Aegis is, but that isn't confirmed. Played around when they saw Nia. Who is Zenobia? <laughs> and why do we hate her? Shh, we're trying to trick her into coming out. If we talk enough shit about her, she'll get mad and come out. Fuck Zenobia! I'm like, who even gives a shit? I'm gonna get every rare blade but her. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe McLeo, he won Tails, he won best character for a reason. Oh my god. I love him. He shows up for a spin at the game, so I'm safe to see him. Okay, cool, cool. Fuck these tiny hats. What is with these tiny hats? I'm not upset! I'm not! This country is upset! With absurd prices! Five dollars for a beer at McDonald's! Oh, boo-hoo, you're gay, you're straight, you're lesbian! My penis doesn't work! Oopa loopas are murdering themselves! <laughs> Zenobia's dad never loved her! Zenobia would be worse to compost than your actual shit! But there is a spoiler that might show us. Just had an image instead. That works, sure. What do I think about a slightly better post timescape prep? Oh, absolutely, yeah, no. Like, he would definitely need to have a little bit of grit. Oh, a five, a four star. Okay. I'll take that. Oops. Better than, better than a sharp stick in the eye. Something. Zenobia is a worm people. Ew! She's less than a worm person. Ew! Where should you send it? Uh, you could just leave it in, like, maybe the, um, the live stream chat of the Discord or something. That could work. Stand in front of a mirror and say your name three times backwards. <laughs> I might. I might have to get up and go to the bathroom again in a minute. If I do, I will. Just like the <laughs> You're a late flyer, so you're looking a port? I mean, what? Nano machines, son! No race flowers. You missed Ace Attorney. <laughs> you're stuck with Gasha Hell. But we did do Ace Attorney for a little bit. I don't believe you were in here for Ace Attorney. 
Who am I messing with summons? We need Cosmos, Dogus, uh, Vale, and not Zenobia. Fuck Zenobia. I saw your silhouette there, young lady. Oh, I suppose you started this game. Oh, hey, Charizard. Are you out of the hospital? I did see your YouTube comment. I gave you a shout out a couple times. Not sure if you can keep up with the mods or not. But hey, dude, how you doing? You still in there or are you out? I'm gonna do use all these because I don't need any of the elements anyway. Ka 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 chi da ze gung 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 ui chan chan yang yang. Yeah, the best evolved. He evolved from the best into better than my son. Oh yeah, Flowers, you missed it. Uh, Sebastian is officially my son. Where are we in the story? Uh, chapter... Six? I think? Something like that. But right now we're in Gasha Hell, so it doesn't really matter. Thanks. Oh, let me go ahead and uh, mark that other four star before I forget. Yeah! That's what I like to see. Is that the only one I got? I wasn't paying any close to test off attention to their stars. Also, I didn't bookmark here. There we go. Join the savvy mom squad. Yes. You're also the best formerly known as the best on Discord. Oh my god, good. Oh my god, I'm out of elements I can get rid of. I'm gonna have to start prioritizing. Oof. God, please, just let me get one of them so I can start thinning the herd a little bit. See, a lot of the game can be... Yeah, yeah, plenty of, plenty can be kept the same. Like I said, this game has so many fucking good ideas. And it's just squandered. Like, all the pieces are there. We're just kind of rearranging them. It's Savvy, not Sebi. Did I say Sebi? My bad. I know it's Savvy. Or sassy bassy. I am a coiled spring right now, tension and power. Just I'm a muscle, like a big arm muscle, punching through a brick wall. And it's hitting the wall so hard the arm is catching on fire. Oh yeah. Oh, I keep saying savvy, it's Sebi. I uh Savvy. I like Sabby better. I'm sorry if I, I'm sorry if the uh I'm sorry if that other one's a, a more widely accepted nickname for him. Side quest of this game should it be solo stories or let's quest play a bigger picture storyline character development. I can't say too much, like Again, okay, so admittedly admittedly doing some of them off screen and actually paying attention to the dialogue in some parts, some of them are kind of interesting. Like there was one I finished up yesterday that was actually um there is actually a uh, a group of spies in um not, not spies, but there's an insurgent group running around in Morardane called the Bryonic. Like, I had to do this whole quest investigating them and finding... They're, they're trying to take down the Empire. I'm like, that was moderately interesting, just not enough to play the game... Play the, you know, actually show them on screen. I could call him Bassy. I could call him Bassy. I mean, I'm gonna call him Sassy Bassy, so I might as well just call him Bassy. Ooh, Bassy! You made a semi-automatic legendary core farm. Had to do it three times for Cosmos, Charizard. Yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, I'm not quite far enough that I can farm uh, legendaries uh, reliably. So we're sticking with rares and the uh, the, the more ordained Crabble method. How'd I grind? Of course, I started with 99 of each, except legendaries. Because again, I can't grind for legendaries yet. You like the Blade Quest to have a bit more interaction with the voice acting? Yeah. Yeah, like I said, doing that, I think the only the only Blade Quest I've done on screen thus far, uh, um, I haven't done any off screen. The only Blade Quest I've done fully so far are Wolfric and Azami, I think. 
And like I was, I was a little shocked slash disappointed because I did not remember just how little voice acting there is. One bad thing with Sestiri is that it came out a while ago, so ending art is easy to actually find. Oof, that's rough. Okay, I will, I will avoid googling it then. I saw Zenobia. This is Sar. Really just spitballing ideas. No, this is this is fun. Like I said, it's good to finally get a lot of this shit out because, like I said, Xenoblade is. Xenoblade 2 is a game I played. I had a lot of problems with it. But other than just kind of yelling at a wall on Twitter, I didn't really have any outlet for it. Like, nobody else I knew had played it. And I'm not the kind of person who goes out and argues with people in YouTube comments or whatever. It's so, like I've just kind of kept my thoughts to myself. Come on, I repeat, I've got to at least get one. I know rares are just rares, but I started with 99 of them. There's got to be at least one good one in here. Xenoblade is for weebs. I mean, this Xenoblade is. Xenoblade 1's for anyone. Guys, I'm not going to lie, I'm kind of salty. You have no idea. Um. <laughs> God damn it, I thought she. I saw Zenobi and I thought she was the last one for a second because I wasn't looking at the screen. Second last one. God damn it. I mean, fuck Zenobi. I don't. I don't want her. Who? Who gives a shit? Did not me to do that. No. 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 Wasn't someone making a Google Doc for ideas? Uh, Boop mentioned uh, he might. I'm not sure if he actually did or not. Okay, core chips increase item drops. I already did Charizard. I've got gold chips on everyone. <laughs> oh, you were answering Flower's question on how to grind for him. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, every single blade I own has gold chips on them, even though I'm pretty sure it only applies to ones in your active party. You know, everyone and their mother has gold chips at this point. Shutter Chan zipping at your ankles. Ooh, that's not good. You'll be posting link in the Discord soon. Ooh, cool boop. Maybe Zenobia doesn't want to be on Zeke. No. Zeke doesn't... Look, Zenobia doesn't deserve the Zekenator. I was trying to do her a favor. And she squandered my good wheel. My good will. My good wheel? I have a wheel. It is good. That is not the right button. You assume the entire party is broken? Kind of. <laughs> like I said, I think we're chapter 6. We're in chapter 6 and everyone's level 70. <laughs> oh god, please! I need to call the herd! Give me coffee! For the horse! For the horse! She's probably got the job, but you can. I don't know if you went to bed or not. I know, I, I, I think he pieced out, but it's just because we switched from Ace Attorney to this. As far as I know. All right, come on, please. I need to thin the elements. Just one. One. One is the loneliest number that you ever do. Adventure core, oh my god. <laughs> when this game ends, you think it'll be good to discuss more there as well. Hopefully, once everyone will be there. Oh yeah, totally. And I'm sure we'll have plenty, um, like, well, I'm, I'm probably going to need to do another one of these. And maybe not a whole stream of it, but, um, but, like, obviously at this point, we're definitely going to need to open more crystals at some point. And there's also Torna. After the main game's done, I'm sure we'll all have lots to say.
All right. Two more and then I have to pee. <laughs> Once we're down to 25 rares, I have to pee. The moment you gave up a chance to skip the wiki is when you got Cosmos, Charizard. Yep, see, that's why I'm not doing it. Because the second I decide, ah, I'm not going to get it anytime soon. I can skip these, right? Is when you, no. That's when you get it. Sneaks up on you. I saw Dagus. I saw him. Okay. <laughs> I have to pee. I'll be right back. All right, I got some Fritos. Whew. Come on. I'm not asking for much at this point. Just one from 99 rares. Just one. It's all I ask for. Cosmos makes you think of Chronica from Mortal Kombat 11. Not sure who that is, but cool, cool. I 
Like I said, I just want one. I don't even care who anymore. I just want one. So like I said, I can start uh, holding on to less elements because we're running out of space way too fast now. Like I need to be able to ditch one of every element, preferably dark. I think I have the most darks. So I guess come on, Vale. <laughs> oh my god, that's funny as shit. Anyway, I'm Vale. Pleased to meet ya. <laughs> my shitty vamp kid daughter can't be this can't be this cute. Jiggle, bitch. Of course she jiggles. Everyone jiggles. Veil! Oh my god, I could get rid of all my darks. Thank fuck. <laughs> Ask and you shall receive. Oh, uh, we're good. Okay, I'm happy. No matter what happens from here on out, I will be able to go to bed happily. I can at least, like I said, at least this means I can release a bunch of, a bunch of them. Like we were just getting way too low on space way too fast. Uh, uh, uh. Two in a row. I am Dagus. Just like that. P sure. Lower your gaze, underling. What? <laughs> I love you. <laughs> uh. You have the honor of being my driver. This is a very big moment for you. Don't blow it. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking R like the RNG is out of control. Bitch <laughs> die? Charizard, why? Me or Dagus? Me for getting two in a row out of fucking nowhere. <laughs> the importance of matters. Oh my god. <laughs> So when can you suck him off? Ooh. You want to clip it that this happens? Yeah, Eric. <laughs> Two in a row. <laughs> oh my god. This... <laughs> Dagus. No, no, we like Dagus. Dagus is a very interesting, uh, interesting blade. I, I, might, I might show y'all. Uh, I'll show y'all real quick. Especially because I start getting rid of elements now. Okay. Um, Dagus is a very interesting blade. <laughs> Let me just show you something real quick. Um, where is it? Let's go to manage. You, you hate that this guy is good? He's so good, too, is the fucked up part. It's like, even if you don't like him, you gotta learn to deal with him. Vale, I actually really like Bla uh, Vale's uh, si uh, blade quest as well. Hers is pretty neat, if I do say. Goes to the linking chat. It worked. Oh, very nice. Okay. <laughs> Look at his special ability. Exclusive to Dagus? <laughs> Dagus has. I'm just going to go ahead and tell you. Dagus has two affinity charts. This first one is a complete joke. <laughs> so if you happen to get this gentleman, don't even bother trying to max it out. Uh, he, he will unlock his... I forget if you have to actually complete this one or not. Actually, I can't remember. I think I did... I think I did the first time I got him, not realizing it was a joke. But I'm not sure if I actually have to or not. But yeah, his his real one will unlock upon completing his blade quest. And his is one of the funner ones in the game. Looking forward to that one. Alright, beautiful. Good God. RNGs, that's out of control. What does that leave? Zenobi and Cosmos, the two most infamously difficult ones to get, are the two I'm stuck with. I got Zenobia pretty early in my first playthrough, but Zenobia is almost of, as much of a bitch to get as Cosmos. Not quite. You were away for a bit, what'd you miss, JC? I got two in a row. Java got distracted. <laughs> Gamrick looking away seemed to do the trick. I mean, yeah, you were here for Vale. <laughs> 
<laughs> you were here for Bailey, just Miss Dagus, because who the fuck thought I would get two in a row? Hey, Java, Flowers was looking for you. I'm not sure if she's still here. All right, everyone look away. Don't even look at the silhouettes. Don't even look. It's bad luck, clearly. Don't even fucking pay attention. We're never getting anything ever. Okay, so that, that, that's actually, in a way, that's, I mean, the Cosmos was gonna be a pain in the ass. But no, so, okay, so this officially means that I need to not bother keeping any rare blades besides wind. Just keep all the rare wind blades. Just got Tiello, she's better than Zenobia. Tiello's way better than Zenobia, but Tiello's this new game plus exclusive. <laughs> Tiello's is also super easy to get on new, for, for whatever reason, they gave her ridiculously high rate. Like, if you just roll a, if you just, even if you just open, like, common cores at the start, at the very beginning of New Game Plus, odds are you'll get TLS pretty quick. Not to diminish your accomplishment, Charizard, but that, 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 it, that is a thing for some reason. They just gave her a ridiculously boosted rate. I don't know why she's New Game Plus exclusive. It's kind of dumb, honestly. All the other New Game Plus exclusive ones make sense, except her. I guess there's no reason why they would limit her like that. It's not New Game Plus, it's post-game, is it? Is it just post-game? My bad. I always, I never bother with the post-game, like, I just get over-leveled to shit and do everything beforehand. Because <laughs> it's very easy to get over-leveled in this game. I did not know that. I thought she was just New Game Plus, but that's because I never do much post-game after, like, after, after the actual final boss. Okay, that's good to know. Maybe I can show her off after all. Probably not her full blade quest, but I can, I can at least open her up. You got her before you started New Game Plus? Okay, fair enough. Yeah, I didn't know. <laughs> I can't resonate with more. That's fine, because I, I can officially take out the trash. Let's see. So now uh, I keep thinking maybe it's smart to keep the ducks, but I don't think it actually matters. Then again, maybe, I don't know. Like I said, I don't even know for sure if this trick actually works. Um, I'll try holding on the darks for now, maybe. Depending on how much room I have. I know I said I wanted to get rid of the darks, but I don't know. Like, anything to make this easier. Did we make a better Xenoblade 2 story channel yet? We have not. Do I need to make a subserver dedicated to that? I want to get rid of the dark skin. So I said I don't want to get rid of it. <laughs> nah. Har har. You know, like, I'm just trying to... I don't know. I'm going to have to try and find that video where I, um... Where I saw that again. Because it was a video I watched at one point that told me that that worked. So I don't know if it applies. Like, they come from the same stat. So I would think it might affect something, even if there are no other, um... Even if there are no other, um, even if there are no, like, co uh, common lights. All the pieces are there, we can use them. Yeah, boy. We have the Google Doc, though? We do have the Google Doc, yeah. That's true. It was the Fritos. The Fritos got me two in a row.
Yeah, I also need to rediscover if the boosters actually do anything or not. <laughs> Are we doing the DLC quest? Um... I mean, I haven't been doing any of the side quests on screen, Charizard. Only quests I'm doing on screen are the blade quests. There's something called Kung Flu by Trump? What the fuck? Do I want to know? If, like, if boosters do work the way I, I was led to believe they are, I'm not sure if it's right or not. I probably shouldn't actually even be bothering using these anymore. Post a picture of in the live stream chat. You can post this character if you have any more. This character I meet in the first five minutes if I want a more feminine outfit. Okay. Cool, cool. Let's see. Ooh, he cute! Hot damn! Yeah, what Boop said. He looks snazzy. Very nice. Easy, for I am here. All right, All Might. It's been a joke name for the Rona. Trump said it during rally, but it's around for a while. Oh, okay. All right. God. Your pyro skirt is having to have leg like, and like Mithra. Oh, pyro with legs would be OD. There is a DLC quest with Adenine and Cosmos where a ridiculously strong enemy will strong. Really? Or spawn. Yeah, yeah not sure about that. Like I said, if there are any, like I've said before, if there are any side quests that people do actually find interesting enough to do on screen, I will. Like, I believe we'll be doing the, uh, the banner thing on screen. Leo's hands on your favorite Tails character. I'll quickly find out why in the beginning of the game. Also, his design's fun. Yeah, his design's pretty. He looks like a lovely boy. I look forward to meeting him. Have I ever had bacon wrapped chicken breast before? No. Yeah, I don't really, um, I don't really like, um, I don't like bacon that much. Like, I like bacon okay. I have it once in a while. But I'm not like super crazy about it, and I don't like mixing it with other meats, as weird as that might sound. Apparently you were gifted a sub while working a different stream. Hey, nice. Nice. I think I was I, th I think I was I was gifted a sub once during Zero's Persona 4 stream. And I think I was also gifted one during one of KZ's streams. I forget which one. It may have been during, like, the Kingdom Hearts Marathon one year or something. And I always feel bad because I'm always pretty quiet in chat and, like, never... I, in, in Zero, it doesn't really matter because there are so many people there. But in other ones, I always feel bad. Like, you know, I'm not even in chat and I get one. I'm not gonna take advantage of this. You're gonna cook for the first time tomorrow. Ooh, very nice. 
Yeah, I hope you enjoy them. Not for me, but you enjoy yourself. That's a pretty cute bee. I'm a bee, I'm a bee, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a bee. Hmm. God. Uh, let's hear, let's hear, let's hear a sh show of hands. Cause it's, I, I, it's only 12 o'clock. That's, that's, that's pretty early for me. I'm going to be up anyway. So show of hands, should I do some plot? Cause I need to get deeper into the main story if I'm ever going to be able to actually get, uh, grind for cores reliably. So once I'm done with these rare, should I do some plot for a little bit? False advertising, false advertising after I said this is only going to, yeah, after I said this is only going to be core opening, should I do some plot? Or should I just finish opening up the, the legendaries? We got 25 of them, might as well. It's 12, you got a dip, oh shit, poop, nighty night. You have a good one. Just a little bit of plot. It's kind of big plot. We're at the end of the chapter. You know what's going to be big plot. Chat can I have a little bit of plot. Chat, y'all want some plot? You tell me. It's up to me. Well, no. I mean, I'm asking. I'm okay either way. I'm okay with either or. Like I said, I don't like misleading people, but also, um... But also, I know nobody's gonna be heartbroken about missing Xenoblade 2 plot. <laughs> I mean, they might. There is some kind of... There is some kind of major stuff coming up at the end of this chapter, but eh. You are this picture and you don't like it? What you got? It was out of space. Kanji looks happy, me. <laughs> me too, Spice. <laughs> Resting bitch face all day, fucking right. That's the other reason y'all ain't gotten that face pic yet, because I look unnatural smiling. Oh no, oh fuck. Oh god, Pikachu, get down! Mr. Obama? Mr. Obama, get down! You need plot Charizard? I could do a little smirk, I try, it looks awful. I look awful no matter what I do. That's the problem. <laughs> I'm Shrek. She looks happy. <laughs> oh shit, wait, is that the same thing? What is that? God, she looks happy. <laughs> oh god, the face! Oh! Oh god, no! <laughs> no, no face app, Kanji. Good god. Ugh. Fuck it, I'm gonna do plot. I feel like plot. Let me get let me get my real party. I have to use this party for uh, for farming purposes. Well, I att attempted farming. Like I said, I can't re reliably do it yet, but. So it's all five characters we're gonna have. Yeah, this is our full party. Yep, yeah, only only five uh five human people. 
And then a shit ton of blades. Lady Morag, you're making that face again. If you keep frowning like that, you'll get wrinkles. I just don't get it. Tantau was founded by the counter Adamites. Then, after the war, they closed themselves off. But the way the king was acting, I can't help feeling there's something more to it. What the? It was the Praetorium who sent us here on this mission. Why would he go to such lengths to reject it? It seemed almost like he wanted to cut ties with them. You think Indol is holding something else over Tantal? That would be an explanation, yes. Zeke, do you know anything useful? Nope. There's no records from back then. How about you? There's nothing in my journal from that period. I might have been returned to my core for some reason or other. Do you know anything about those days, Gramps? Hmm? No. I was somewhere else at the time. And I had stuff up my butt! And so on didn't interest me much. Jeez, Gramps. What's the point of keeping an old-timer like you around if you don't even know anything? Sometimes, it's funny how much you sound like Corinne. So you think the king wasn't telling us everything? There is a chance. Do you think it may be related to Jin and his comrades using Torna's name? If you saw the last state of humanity, you'd understand. Now that you Prax was this fucking. Far, <laughs> a king we never met lying? I can't believe it. Jin said something about Good the last state God, of humanity. Pyrus shorts pissed me off. <laughs> like an evolution. I'm sorry, it's been a while since I've had a good look at him. But maybe in the oh. previous state of humanity. <laughs> it just looks so trashy. Hmm. If if that is the case, perhaps I never should have been sealed away after all. Almost underwearish. They're shorter than underwear. <laughs> they are literally shorter than underwear. <laughs> Fucking gross. Ah. Uh. Mm -mm -mm. Also, Tora, please don't say Matt, because I don't have the counter running. <laughs> More eggs blades named Bridget. Yeah. Seek was oddly quiet that cutscene. Yeah, really, he had nothing to say. <laughs> new locale. Is it bad you ship them, Morag and Bridget? Nah. They're the most popular pairing on Archive of our own. So they're doing something right. What is this place? A battleground from the Aegis War. There are many things here, I remember. The walls and floors are melted. Must have been a hell of a battle. Ophion isn't the only artifice. You've already seen one other. Siren. The one Mithra commands. But during the war, there were countless artifices. We should definitely keep them the same as we met. More and Bridget, yeah. Yeah, like I said, I think everything about her character is handled fine. I genuinely don't have any complaints. Oh man, why aren't we playing so that game? It's a sight of a fight against it. Say, what are these artifices anyway? We've only actually met Ophion. We've never even seen Siren, just that light thing it shoots down. They're a power granted to the Aegises. Divine swords sleeping in Elysium, far above us all. Hold on, I thought Elysium was a paradise, not a scary weapon stash. I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? All that I can find in the corners of my memory 
Yeah, He's no, despite this being his home country and his type that's about to die and all his people dead, Zeke's basically a background character now. That's what I want to find out. Because Rex and Pyra are so cool, guys. They're so cool. Hey, it's okay. We'll find out once we get there. I don't think... Open a chest, it might turn out great. But until then, it's just a crate. Shut the fuck up, the Rex! Savages code. <laughs> Rex, comparing Elysium to dirty old sea junk. Make a girl cry, not gonna fly. Make a girl smile. That's rule number four of the Salvagers Code. It, it took me over a year to learn that one. Reading is hard. Not as hard as riding without training wheels, but pretty hard. Can you ride without training wheels? I can't. Ha <laughs> ha, I'm over leveled. I hope I can see color again soon. Shout out to anyone who gets that one. <laughs> protagonists who insist on having cringy sayings are objectively worse than protagonists who don't. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Let's go up here. I'm sure nothing bad will happen. What have we here? So, a lot of better protagonist? Yes. My yes, he is. Look over there. Would you look at that? I guess we've arrived. Whoa, it looks way older than the palace. Yes, it seems untouched by the ravages of time. Is it Barrett colorblind? Does it really even is Barrett colorblind? Is that a thing? I don't remember that being a thing, but it's been a while since I played OG Final Fantasy VII. It. Oh, it's a joke. Bye, bye. <laughs> Looks like a core crystal. Is that the Omega Feta? Yes, that's Ophian's control core. It was originally a conduit that I used to communicate with Ophion. It's hypnotic. Look at it. Look at it Google goo all over the place. We have to hurry. Yes, you're right. There was once a black man who didn't know. Hmm. Oh, who's in the KKK because he was blind and didn't know? Oh my god, that's fucked up. Well, can you fix it? I mean, I guess. Shut up. If nobody bothers to tell you. I'm sorry. <laughs> that conversation needs to happen more often. Like, shut the fuck up, kid. Oh man, it's the All Spark. It's the cube. Mithra? Come on, we gotta get out of here before Megatron shows up. Whoa. <laughs> In that case. Mmm. Lip sync. <laughs> whoa. <laughs> you ever so it always say whoa without your mouth opening? 
Are we... rising? <laughs> All right, Prince. I've told Genbu to resume circling the clouds <laughs> once he's done rising. Nice. Looks like we made it after all. Oh, great news! Oh, oh my god, I forgot you existed. He's been even quieter than Zeke. Well done, eh? Hey, Rex, you can remove that thing now. Hmm. Why him? Why Rex? Pandoria? Pandoria's design is fantastic. Pandoria actually adorable. The glasses are so, so dumb. It was hidden all the way out here. Oh no! No wonder we couldn't find it. Oh, I we should have kept opening cores. Make an exit. Oh, thanks, for God. Lovely to see that tedious woman isn't here to get in our way this time. She's fucking dead, you moron. In a dance of death, Nia. Shut the fuck up. I just threw up in my mouth a bit. Same. Mean little girl, you've come for the feta, haven't you? Perceptive, kid. Condescending much? It's not like there's anything else here. You that lady so looks like Tifa. All three of these characters were designed by Nomura. Nicely, would be they look like Final Fantasy mind. characters because they are. I'm not letting you escape with your lives. Also, who's that guy For in the middle? Sake. I don't recognize that one. Malos, anyway. There are a few things I need to ask them. Frankly, I don't think they've got much interest in what you have to say. Sure about that? Hmm? Quite sure, yes. Not to interrupt the verbal sparring, but how do you plan on doing anything without your blades? We're I love no that they're in sync. You know. They're not even trying. Oh, they're just in sync. Aware of that. We just don't need them. You see? Oh man, you're ready for Explain a shocking yourself. twist? Oh man, you're all ready for this. They've never, you've never seen this twist before. Oops. This is brand new. Apparently they are all written by number, unfortunately. Oh my God, that would explain a lot. I have never been less threatened in my life. Okay, never mind. Now I'm less threatened. Core crystals. They're blades. Oh my God! Works. That's the first time we've Flesh done this. Hitters. Bravo! Very good. We've had many an interruption in the past, but here that seems. They're all slightly. blades, guys. It's so the first time they've had that twist. You can try, but I assure you. It's the first time I've had that twist, and I'm sure it will be the last. I wouldn't have it any other way. Like I said, all Can we capture them, use them? Well, okay, so now, now that that shocking revelation has been formally revealed, I can tell y'all, for some fucking reason, these three are new game plus blades. You could actually fucking get these guys from random core crystals and have them in your party in new game plus. Oh, fucking the taunting shit again, good god. Are they good? No. <laughs> I think Petroka might be okay. But why would you ever use Petroka? <laughs> like, even if she were the most busted in the game, which she's not. Why would you ever do that to yourself? Is it Mikhail originally human? I mean, he's in Torna. He's in Torna, which took place 500 years ago. So I assume he's not fully human. I don't know. God, he keeps resetting my combo. Oh, 
Wouldn't last a second in Xenoblade X's story. I've seen Xenoblade X's story. It's just been a while. Why wouldn't that last? Or are you talking? Who are you talking to, Shazard? Nothing will ever be worse than Clowny Guard, I mean, quite likely. What am I hitting? Oh, I'm killing this thing, apparently. I didn't even see it. Oh, they keep using Seal Blade combo, no wonder, good god. You despise this game. Xenoblade 1 is cliche 90s anime. Xenoblade 2 is current cliche anime. Uh, kind of, yeah. Oh, that was what was stopping my combos, wasn't it? Good god, I'm an idiot. Ignore me. Now, I'm not saying new anime is trash. I'm saying new anime is garbage. There's a difference. So yeah, the new game plus blades are uh, like, I thought TLS was them, but apparently she's just post game. So it's, it's so it might as well be new game plus cause like what the, what's the point at that rate? But um. So the new game plus blades are uh, these three jokers plus their old blades, the ones we've all killed up to this point. So, so Akko's this fucking bat Harley Quinn girlfriend thing. That fucking abomination. She's one. The ones that Patrok and what's his face used back when they first showed up. Th those are two of them. And then Malice is uh. Malice's xenomorph looking thing is one. What a bunch of jokers. Need a new title for this episode? I was gonna say, I forget what the title was before. It's probably gonna be something about manners after the fucking veil thing, but now that I'm doing plot, who knows? How about what a bunch of jokers? Needs to be a new word to describe how bad this is. They were blades all along. Not clickbait. Mez call. She's furious. Thank you for the commons that I'm already maxed out on. Inconceivable. How could we? These rats! Warned you, didn't we? You mess with Thunderbolt Zeke. That's what you get. You brought this on yourself. I like how the cutscene is reacting appropriately to Zeke being anyway, the main character in our version now. This has gone on long enough. Nighty night chaps. Very much looking forward to interrogating you later. Just kill him, dude. Here I go. Bring her up. 
Oh fuck, never mind. Where did he? Seems they don't call you Thunderbolt for nothing. That's the first time I've ever missed a vital point. You bastard! Oh man. Oh. Don't worry yourself. It's just a scratch, really. Jin, are you okay? <laughs> Is he okay? He's not made of glass. Malos? It's a time. It's kind of time. I'm just a spectator. He, on the other hand, insisted on coming here to settle a score. Jin. He's basically Sephiroth. Correct. You will give me both the Omega Fetter and the Aegis. You Can you imagine if they killed off Zeke too? Good I know God. You're strong, but there's no way we're giving you Just really drive home time. the fact that, like, no other male character can be good to make Rex look better. Hey, look, it's the two members of Torna. You will have to show it. Not with words, but with your own strength. Good and bad. What about that would be good? That would be awful. Oh, man. Also, you ready for Jim's awesome fucking theme music? Dude. Is that Jim's true form? What enormous energy. There's no change to ether energy of surroundings. That energy being emitted from interior of body. Just like also, I hope you enjoyed us actually winning in a cutscene. It won't be happening again. <laughs> How about all that rage energy? He's got all pent up inside. No, that's not it. It's... Watch out! Here he comes! Look at me! Behold my will! My You straight up can't hit him. <laughs> oh wait, no, you know what? I take it back. No shit, wait, this this, this doesn't count as losing it. Well, no, wait, no, we can't still damage him. Never mind. Never mind, he was just dodging. <laughs> I thought we outright couldn't hit him. No, we will still lose in a cutscene. Is he designed by Nomura too? Yeah. All of the Torna people are Nomura. That includes Malos, Jin, and those other guys. Oh, that's true. Zeke did tightly still lose in a cutscene. Never mind. Gave it too much credit. Now, see, this is the kind of stupid anime bullshit I can get behind. Look at that. Done for. It's their biggest weakness. So he's Kabuto. He's basically Kabuto. Your struggle is pointless. My power gives me control over all elementary particles. Party? What? <laughs> <laughs> this allows me to accelerate my body to the speed of light. No matter how far ahead you can predict, your movements themselves are limited. You are no match for me. Speed of light. Mitra! Rex is so smart, guys. I'm still here. <laughs> Rex. We have to slow him down. Match light speed with light speed. Got it. Okay. I can't believe the 14-year-old doesn't know what ether particles here are. I'm Speed of Light Anime Man. <laughs> I love Speed of Light Anime Man. We do it. Didn't I tell you? 
I can manipulate elementary particles. Lights an element, and you fuck with. Are nothing but a stream of particle energy. The particles that form it are too heavy to truly reach light speed. The result is obvious. Oh, no. Mithra's attack didn't. Jin. It's over, boy. Uh. Eat this! Never ever show a close-up of Rex's shorts again. Yeah, he's just invincible. Die! Die! Oh, is that a thing now? She powers down when she's okay. Sure. Rex. The fuck? Oh. These are... You can't fight anime when you never meant to be one. Artificial blades. Oh man, these look way cooler than Poppy. That's why you were at Banner's factory. You won't win so easily. <laughs> Oh, shut the fuck up. Lady Morag! Whoa. You're quite a looker from up close. Shut the fuck Show up! You will be such a waste. But, but, would it take more power to conjure her? Yes, it would, Java. S stop it. Uh. I'm surprised you're still breathing. Relax. You'll be able to rest. After I've pried that core crystal from your chest. Oh God, please! I die here. I have to reach Elysium. I mean, you will if he kills you. Have to find. You'll just go about it the more ob obvious way. <laughs> what answers? In this world, there are no answers. Uh, enough. I'm okay. You want. I want you to remember this scene right here very closely. Leave them out of this. Just keep this keep the entire concept of what's about to happen in the back of oh, your head. Look. What a touching scene. Are you going to beg for their lives? Stop that. No mockery, Mick. This is serious business. Put the sword away, Jin. If not, I'll You'll do what, exactly? I will... ...annihilate myself. Okay. What? You need me alive, don't you? Melos. <laughs> okay, cooperate with me or I'll kill myself. Cool, cool. You... Nothing wrong with that. But Just keep that in the back of your mind, though. Threat. You don't have that kind of... Are you so sure about that? This is a shock. I didn't think you had it in you. What's going on? She's controlling Mithra's artifice herself. I'm so glad Pyra is controlling Mithra's artifice. I'm so glad she switched back to Pyra for no reason. <laughs> Controlling Siren through sheer willpower? Go ahead. I'll deflect it with my powers. Just like before. She just said she's not aiming at you, dumb shit. I could do that. If I use the particle cannon itself. I meant to say Orifice. Is the targeting ray. It moves at the speed of light. And if I turn up the output just a little. That light alone has enough power to annihilate a single blade. You. One signal from me, and my body will be scoured from this world. Faster than you can blink. So, Jin? How unexpected. That you and Aegis would say something like that. 
So you'll do it. Open the gates to Elysium for us. Yes. If that is your wish. Don't, Pyra. They'll just... Uh! Jin? Again, this is going to be even more frustrating why it's so dragged out later. He's on a Nairo's chat did that, oh my god. Very well. Did they seriously be emotionally invested? Oh yeah, this is a love story. This is a touching moment. She's sacrificing herself to save the boy she loves, and also these other guys, I guess. Are willing to sacrifice herself. She's giving you the go-ahead, Nia. Yeah, sacrificing herself. Oh! <gasps> she has eyes! Did we see her butt crack? I saw some crack. But I could be imagining things. I'm, I'm really sorry. I'm pretty sure I saw some crack. <laughs> now Lost looks so weird when the screen cuts to fire Nia. The models don't like the same game. They really don't, like I said. Why? Like, the guest artist thing is a neat idea, but, um, but yeah, I do think they needed to pass over to at least make the art style consistent with characters. In 3D models, for the most part, it's okay, but yeah, the tournament people really do just <laughs> miss to steal your girl, implying he wants the girl. Look at the state of you. <laughs> Look at this thought. You <laughs> Oops. <laughs> your own blade has been wounded so deeply. You don't need to see this kid. This is gonna go beyond anime. Tags, NTR. You will get the ages. <laughs> oh God! I Never show a close up of his mouth again. You, you see some cheek? I see cheeks. I see cheeks. Big old cheeks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, scream. Please scream. Please scream. Do it. Do it for me. Do it. It's all you're good for. Do it. Byra! Byra! Oh, never mind. It's literally that same sound clip again. <laughs> surprise Rex emote! Oh my god. I would be all about a surprise Rex emote. <laughs> But I never got to pound. But I never got to pound that. I was, wait, she she was gonna let me touch her butt. That's how you pound it. I didn't have a blade equipped on me. Oh shit! How'd that happen? <laughs> oh my god. Could have been a beautiful moment. If not undermined by Rex being awful and ass cheeks. <laughs> she was gonna let me touch her knee! That's hot! Oh. Which one's the good one? One of those is the good one, guys. People who have played this and Xenoblade 1 know what I'm talking about. One of those is a good apple. Two of them are very bad apples. <laughs> okay, one, one's worse than the other. What am I saying? Hmm. I should have lumped both of them in together. Why is Morag with us? <laughs> You've missed some stuff, Flowers. Um, like, she basically just essentially got the go-ahead because she thinks Rex is going to change history or some shit. It's, it's also in the Empire's interest to know what's going on. Oh, man. Okay, y'all pay attention to these flashbacks. Because real talk, Amalthus... Actually a pretty decent character, but you really have to read between the lines on some stuff. Why do people like Morag? Because she's one of the few characters who is in a loathsome CAD and actually looks appropriate. <laughs> Greater Amalthus. Where is Nile back in Morag? 
He died when he I came back. It's fine. Make regarding the situation with the Aegis in Tanta. Please come inside. Yes, your eminence. Wait, what? Yeah, you weren't here so, for that, Flowers. Yeah, he fucking Jim died. <laughs> has his hands on the Aegis. He jumped in front of a laser beam or an explosion or some shit to try and so save the queen of another country to keep I the peace. He, he jumped in front to take the blow, and he was dead because his blade returned to its Your core. Eminent. But Nia turned out to be a witch doctor, and she brought him back yes. with the power of love Prepare and friendship. So he's fine. He's fine. This game exhausts you too much to care, Java. No, I know. I'm just I'm just pointing it out because it's one of those. It's a, it's again another thing. I really like Amalthus in in concept. Even even in practice, I think they do some cool stuff with him. But it, it's mostly limited to flashbacks. Like you really have to you have to actually like kind of piece his uh, his journey in your head. So Niall Nia is canon. No, I don't think she fucked him to bring him back. I don't think she's that kind of witch doctor. You're not exhausted yet, but it's coming, bestie. Oh, no. I fell off my scooter again. Now, I'm, now I can't play basketball with the kids down the street. There's only five days left in summer vacation. God damn it. Bet you have to fucking dead body to bring it back. Good God. That'd be like a weird monkey's paw. Like, if you weren't specific enough and just wished for the power to bring people back to life, but didn't wish exactly how, they'd make it so that you could only bring them back by fucking them. Ugh. Is this me? Yes, yes it is. Me working on the Tales of Zestiria title card. <laughs> Even at this very moment, Rex, they are fucking your girl while you cry. <laughs> All right, whose turn is it to change Rex's diaper? Rex, Rex, still sleeping? <laughs> In two days now. Imagine Injury sleeping for two days severe, because your girlfriend ran off. Is over, but his body needs time to recover. He'd better get well soon. Or... One of the few times that Tiara is warranted. <laughs> I said I don't think I don't think Jin or Malice Rex. would touch her. They have standards. What? I crossed him again. I'm leaving. But where would he go? Good question. Can't live on grumps. Do I need any more images of me, Cleo? I should be good. I'll head for they said I don't even know for sure who I'm drawing myself as. Could be him, could be Soray. You Depends on who's easier to draw. Talking about Argenta. What about Pyra? Do you know how desperate the situation is? Or have you finally lost it, you idiot? I know. He's okay. 14. Just, just what? I'm done. Done? When I became the driver of the Aegis, her driver, I felt like I could do anything. Once again, if they played the scene differently, this could have been cool, too. Myself. How old is Nia? All Good I've question. to do is hurt her. Again and again. So, I'm done. Oh, for crying out loud, Rex. She got herself caught to save you. I know. So what? So what? Those guys are way out of my league. I can't beat them. It's hopeless. I understand that now. But she'll be safe with them. They're not going to hurt her like I do. Oh, so my fucking God. Me. Shut the fuck up. <sighs> I've just been kidding myself all along. Me, a driver, in the end, salvaging is all. You bloody... <laughs> Idiot. Thank you. <laughs> Eat shit. Hurts, yeah? But that pain's nothing compared to what Pyra must be feeling right now. She I mean, it's about the same. She feels everything he feels. For our sake, not us. I get it, I know. But what do you want me to do? I couldn't even slow him down. 
Even the artifice's attack couldn't touch him. What chance do I have against a guy like that? The more I fight, the more Pyra gets hurt. She'll be better off without me by her side. Okay, I'm sorry on Google to give any spoilers or something about it. It was just too hard. Okay. No. <laughs> Alright, everyone, get in line. Do you actually mean that? We're all gonna take turns. Do you not have the slightest idea how it felt for her to leave you? <laughs> With me here? He'll suffer even more. <laughs> Zeke, you wanna take a crack at this? So maybe it makes you lose that good friend, you little freak. Maybe Rex is better off without me. Rex. The whole world. They don't need me. You like the blue lady? I like Bridget. Bridget's cool. That's just how it feels. You don't think I like Torna? Uh oh. <laughs> I was told Torna's better than this. Did you know that? She is planning to sacrifice herself to defeat them. You drove her to this, but here you are, giving up! You said you'd get Pyra to Elysium, didn't you? You'll eat your words just like that! Hit him again! Hey, Mom? Dad? It's been a while. A ton happened, you know? I became a driver. You can say one more character I might like. Ooh! And this girl... You've shown them before. ...is Pyra. My new partner. I know you'd love her. We, we're going to Elysium, Pyra and me. Then she's gonna let me don't touch her knee. Know what's coming next? Mm, knees. You'll be watching over us, right, guys? <sighs> Forget it. We'll rescue her on our own. This loser, he's not the Rex we joined up with. No, no, he's about the same. Come now, let's not start fighting amongst. Let's give them a chance to work this out. Let's hit him more. Shall we? <laughs> you know, what the fuck is... quite right. Oh, Poppy, you want to take a swing? Definitely not behave like himself. No, this is part of the course. Giving up after one loss? That's not Rex I know at all. Poppy, hit him. Hit him in the dick. Now is not time for excuses. Poppy! Good girl. Motherfucker. P Poppy? Poppy is hurt to see Rex like this. Poppy and Master Pun are not real Blade and Driver. So Poppy and Master Pun looked up to Rex lot. Why? Rex worked very, very hard to get this far. Poppy, I love you. When you need Rex better role models. Hard, Poppy and Master Pun tried hard. We aim for. Zeke's just vibing. Without Rex, we not know which way to go. So please, Rex cannot give up and stop here. Poppy. Would be better if Rex would come to his experience. Merc, yeah. Oh, totally. My prince? I can't tell you from up there. Climb John. down. Huh? My old man wants to see you. Time to go. Oh yeah, King Hoobity Doobity. <laughs> I don't remember what his name was. I just remember it was stupid. Oh, new Merc missions. Thank God. Oh, yeah, I bought. I, I own almost every shop in town now, and also there are new shops. Where the hell am I going? <laughs> Zeke has a dad. Oh yeah, flower shit. You weren't. You missed a lot. Yeah. Yeah, Zeke's dad. Zeke has a dad. He's the king. He was kind of an asshole. He tried to he tried to kill Pyra too. Give yeah, me a shit. Thank you. Yo, pops, what's the hippity haps? Are you all right to be up and about? Yeah. I'm all healed up. I only 
actually wet the bed Seriously, once today. If I hadn't attempted to the other one. Egregious, they would never have. Alicia. If you've done nothing, they'd have come for her anyway. Oh, you she cute. Today, oh, she, I think you saw. I think I think you showed her to me before. The Pegasus night looking chick. Yeah, she's adorable. I like her design a lot. Five hundred years. Yeah, I got some good options. This kingdom was rent in twain. Some followed Adam, who sought to live with blades and titans as equals. Others opposed him, referring to get some sip. You got it, Taco. The also, hi. <laughs> as our tools. When Adam returned to the ether, his rivals seized power, leveraging the power of the Omega Fetter. Alicia does have booty shorts. Does she have booty shorts? They I couldn't even tell. Themselves the Tantalese Royal Dynasty. Oh yeah, she does have booty shorts. Yeah, no, they, her booty shorts cover up more than Pyra's. The hero Adam's descendants. Precisely. Yeah, no, like I don't mind my booty shorts. I just mind micro booty Adam shorts Adam with half your goddamn cheeks open. hanging out, complete with g-strings. <laughs> Before long, we resolve to protect ourselves from. Yeah, she's very cute. I like her design. Deep into the cloud sea, taking the dirty secret of our family's lineage with us the praetorium for their part did not protest can you guess why no they offered to stay silent in exchange for a certain resource an annual tribute comprising a fixed quantity of core chips i have something i wish to show you what is it? What is this? This is Gembo's ether flow. The Titan draws in the fabric of the Cloud Sea and uses it as a source of energy. This energy flows throughout the Titan's body in the form of ether. Refining and crystallizing this ether creates core chips. This process is what you see before you. So, in other words, you're siphoning away a portion of the Titan's energy. Our cold climate and poor harvests, they are the unfortunate side effects of this process. I'm starting to feel physically, physically sick, Charizard? Oh, God. <clears throat> are you all right, dude? Core chips. Yeah, I'm not sure if you said what you, I, if I, if you said what you were in the hospital for. I missed it, but um, yeah, I hope you're holding up okay. Hope you feel better. The Praetorium desired this power. Hopefully, not feeling physically sick because of the game. I don't think it's that bad. All rest at the time was in crisis, but for the Praetorium, it was a precious chance to expand their sphere of influence. So they nestled in. As a result, Tantal fell into a chronic energy shortage. Then, well... Slowly like the art of Pokemon breeding taco. Oh, that's a rough crash course. Near frozen Earth. You'll get the hang of it, though. It's pretty easy nowadays. The Tantalese people are forced to live in abject poverty. So why not just leave the Cloud Sea? Then we can... <laughs> oh, poor Geralt. <laughs> Oh my god. Contact with other nations. Too afraid it might expose the truth behind the legends they spun about Adam. That would explain their isolationism. Indeed. That was five centuries ago. Now the Aegis has awakened. The Praetorium is demanding we hand over the Omega Fetter. They are threatening to reveal our secret if we do not acquiesce. Indola? Threatening you? I get it now. And that's what was in that letter. Enough was enough. I couldn't stand by and let the Tantalese people suffer any longer. Don't talk about buttering up Therefore, poopers right now. A decision. Not with how much talk of Pyra's butt and we've had. Why you. <laughs> yes. We learned about the episode of nature stuff. Trying to get Larvesta down pat. Ooh, very nice. Larvesta is adorable. But if I could neutralize her power. Perhaps a carbonated soda. 
And perhaps by saving my people from poverty, I could absolve the sins of my forefathers. You didn't think about using the Aegis's power yourself? Wielding such power is beyond my means. I am under no illusions. However, does the same apply to you? I felt something. When I looked in your eyes, I knew. Perhaps you are the one to whom we can entrust the Aegis's power. Father. In the end, it seems I only managed to make things worse. I can blame nothing but my own judgment. This tome records the deeds of the hero Adam. According to this, he saved the world from destruction using a white sword. <laughs> what? I got another joke. I don't even know the source of that. I heard it in an AMV white hell. Red. Go and get some snacks. Piracy. Perhaps a carbonated soda. My nipples look like milk duds. Something like that. Oh, After that's a good Adam dun dun. Beautiful. Of this book went looking for something. Something. The third. Oh, is it Kung Pao? Oh, okay. <laughs> I didn't know. There's a third. Apparently, this sword was as transparent as diamond and gave off a clear, brilliant light. But. Adam went his whole life without using the sword. In fact, he could not use it. What do you mean, could it? Being sucked into Kung Pao without him realizing it, apparently. The sword was simply too powerful. Even he, the legendary hero, could not contain the power it commanded. <laughs> and thus, fearing its power... <laughs> oh my god, rude! <laughs> Therefore, surmised. Think about how Joke can be stuffed in a locker by every other JRPG protagonist. Of the um. Now Rex, I mean, if we assume that Zeke is the real protagonist of this game. Doubtless that man is a powerful warrior. Edgeworth? Does the stream still say Edgeworth? I hope not. I thought I changed it. Can the Aegis herself truly be outmatched? I did. Don't scare me like that, Uncle Bill. <laughs> Would it not make more sense to presume that you lost because you have yet to unlock Nintendo's had enough? Power. I'm just saying, if they had it revealed it was an arms character and let people hang on to some hope that something third party was coming next. You took a nap? Yeah, Uncle Bill. We, fin <laughs> we finished with one part. Of one case. <laughs> of, uh, of Edgeworth. But I had to take a break. It was just, it was just getting too grindy. Regrettably, the book does not specify the sword. That'd be even worse? I don't know. I mean, people would be more upset after the reveal happened. However, reading between the lines, it seems the author suspected that... The sword lies somewhere in Look, I just want Dante. I know that there are problems much. right now. I know it's going to be slow to finish up the DLC, but I just, I need my boy. In left area. Are you ready? Huh? Are you ready to do what it takes to be their true driver? No. Grams? What were they thinking? Yes. People are still mad about Byleth, I know. I'm going to be the driver that Pyra and Mithra deserve. You're gonna give them to Zeke? Then, I'm gonna take them to Elysium. Then come with me. I'll show you the way. Another I send Nintendo IP is in Smash? I can't believe it. My 
my son. Yeah. Yeah. I have a favor to ask of you as your king. Well, that's a first. Are you feeling okay, old man? <laughs> Maybe you're coming down with something. Fucking clip. Oh my god. He just needs. No. Rather, the boy needs protection. You mean Rex? <laughs> Can I yes. take a nap? Yes. I saw something in that boy's eyes. It's called the shit kid itis. Never go out. No, on the contrary, I'd like to see it snuffed Stay out man, permanently. We'll get the wrong idea. Fine. Leave it to me. Like, son, you're not sucking Rex's yeah, dick enough. It's not like I wasn't gonna go with him anyway. Fix that. You're looking too cool by comparison. Any new blades? Yeah. <laughs> I had I started the stream with 99 rare cores, Pumpkaboo. I I didn't get any until like the last 20 something, and then I got two in a row. <laughs> can't judge a book by its cover. Who'd have thought that sweet-looking girl would threaten to destroy herself? Uh, they're li they, I mean, he could be adopted. Didn't she realize taking her own life? I wish Rex was an adult. Am I sure? Him? I'm telling. Oh, like I said, Rex exactly doesn't. Ne Rex didn't doing. necessarily have to be an adult. The whole. But if they were gonna keep him this young, they needed to tell an no, entirely different story. The reason she. I'm not saying that Rex can't be a kid. Boy, I'm saying that Rex can't be a kid in the type of story they're trying to tell. To it. An Aegis core encodes the blueprints for all life she took advantage of that incredible i had no idea such a thing was possible aegis is truly our breed apart cores are constantly accumulating oh yeah he could have start he could have started as a kid obviously the fact can't be 14 to have a porno gf basically is a result of can't be 14 have a porno gf a second porn OGF, and also continually have his dick sucked by every other character about how great he is and how wise and worldly he is. What do you mean? Can't have your cake and eat it too. the kill order to the artifice, she would have transferred the remainder of her core to the boy. Either treat him appropriately for a child of his personality, heart complete, or adjust the story so that it's not so ridiculous that a child is in this role. Don't ask me why. It's just how we were made. I repeat, our god did a shitty job. Oh, man! Again, which one do you think is the good one? I think the top one's the good one. Because he's top dog. Ah, so that's the reason Jin agreed to her terms. He couldn't care less about the boy. But... He wasn't about oh, to yeah. lose the eh, making Pyro look less ridiculous also would have Simple helped. Like, it wouldn't have mitigated the problems with Rex himself, but it would have been a little easier to look at the two of them next to each other and not cringe internally. I feel like the creator wanted a grown woman. What did fuck a grown woman? It's 14. Never grew out of it. Possibly. Come, Rex, for the moment, let's return to Fonset Village. Back to the village! I'll explain everything in detail once we get there. Just head to Fonset for now. Maybe everyone could have been like, you're just a kid, you need our protection? Yeah, no, totally. Like, if they're, again, if they had treated him appropriately as a child, not had every character suck his dick, and actually said, hey, this kid's inexperienced and need guidance. Besides just the occasional moment like that right there with Zeke. Let me, for some reason, Nia did not have a third blade on her. Let me, uh, fix that. Uh. I will attend to your every need. Do show the blades. Yeah, for those who missed it. We picked up. Oh, don't, don't pay attention to those. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah, I still need to pick her up, too. Good God. Yeah. All right. <sighs> One day. One day. Less one day. And I'm not gonna... The, the, any Everything beyond this point is a DLC blade. I am going to get those, but I don't want to ruin the surprise for anyone who doesn't know. Let's just say those last three DLC blades are special. Nobody saw that. One day. <laughs> that is the next seven. I was gonna say, okay, so I'm torn. I got into the next chapter, which means I can do a little bit more stuff, like grinding, possibly be able to grind for legendary cores now. Uh, except, well, then again, I don't, have my, I don't have my full party now, so... So I'm once again kind of going to be stuck in a different way, but nonetheless, I don't think I should, um... 
I think it'd be kind of dumb to uh, keep plowing ahead in the story this late. Because it was kind of a spontaneous thing. So I think what I'm actually going to do is finish talking to this asshole. And uh, crack open the legendaries. I have 25 legendary cores still. I've been saving them. But we're at a point where we only have two left to get. They're both two of the most infamously hard ones to get. So I say we end this and just crack them open. See, people say they aren't interested in one's characters as much as twos. Are the... Charizard? I mean, I mean, no offense when I ask this. Do those people have brain damage? Like, actually, are those people hurt? And who hurt them? <laughs> I know 25 legendaries is a five star. Yeah, I'm now. I don't expect to get anything out of this. I'm just doing this to do it. If Rex was a bit cunning and convinced a couple of the companions to follow him because he's a kid and needs protection, basically being manipulative. Oh, yeah, no, totally. And there is some of that. Like, they do try and, like, have some, like, oh, he's wise behind, beyond his years. But in practice, it's just like, it doesn't come across that way. Like, he just comes off like a kid trying to sound smart. Some people got hit in the head by ass steak, the elephant of YouTube many times. If legendaries don't guarantee a five star, then what's the point? Better odds. It's not guaranteed, but there are better odds. Like, you can look up the multipliers, I'm sure. Like, people have data mine this game, that's why the probability thing exists with the different columns. Why even have different rarities of stones? Exactly, flowers. It's like, like I said, if I were doing this off screen, I wouldn't even bother with the legendary cores. Like, I would just keep farming rares and commons, and eventually I'll get it. Like, I don't, I wouldn't care how long it takes. Eventually I would get it. But because we're opening all these on stream, and I don't want to have too many more streams that are de dedicated mostly to this. Oh, I also have two more rare shit. Let me go ahead and pop those off real quick. Lesbian's power is overwhelming The Last of Us 2. Aww, cute. Yeah, I apologize. I didn't mean to misinform anyone early in the Discord when I was talking, or um, yesterday, when I was talking shit about The Last of Us 2. Again, I'm sure that's a fine video game. I'm sure that I'm sure those games are perfectly, uh, perfectly respectable. Like, they seem very well made, very well written. No, no. But, um, just... It's the same reason I won't watch Walking Dead. It's like, it's just the shoot the, shoot the shaggy dog story no-win scenario that I just have no interest in watching, honestly. Didn't that game get leaked? I believe so. I keep seeing Zenobia. Zenobia really man, man, I mean, fuck Zenobia. Who, who gives a shit? I don't, I don't want her. I just want Cosmos. <laughs> that serious boardy punkaboo, yeah. Like I said, I'm sure it's perfectly competently made. It's just like, it's, it, it's not my cup of tea normally, and it especially ain't my cup of tea with everything going on in the world right now. Is it another series that makes fun of you for doing horrible things and trying to guilt tribute for it? Uh, that's what I've heard. You have the good characters in the game, aren't just the blooded one, like Jin. Those people, yeah, no, yeah, no, like again, this game does have good characters. Like, I think Morag's all right, I think Zeke's great, I think Jin and Malos are genuinely very good villains. Xenoph Xenobia plus foe equals Xenophobia. Of course, she'll be the last one we get. Like, watch, we'll get Cosmos before her. It is a better villain than every villain in Xenoblade 1. <laughs> no. <laughs> Jin's a very good villain, but no. 
he's not a better villain than the um, the final boss. I could you could make an argument with him being on par with Eggiel, but nah, he ain't that good. Yeah, Jin's too good for this game. I'm being I'm being vague about the I'm being vague about the final villain of Xenoblade One because I know um at least one person uh, Flowers is still playing uh, is still playing that I don't want to ruin any surprises for her because I I don't know how far along she is. But Jin wasn't even a wasn't even a what? Locks. I don't even get the joke. You haven't been able to play because of homework? Ah, gotcha. Yeah, no, we're, we're at flowers. I'm not trying I'm not trying to rush you through it or anything. I'm just stating that, yeah, that's why I'm being vague and not outright saying, hey, this is the name of the final boss of Xenoblade 1. Even though it's kind of obvious after a certain point. But now I'm... Come on, Cosmos. <laughs> you don't really think that's what's happening in the world? You should dictate what comes out or what you should say. Oh, no, the, be no, the best. Trust me, I get it. I, I get it, trust me. Believe me, like, I am not... <laughs> like, I am not a... I am not that much of a sensitive snowflake. Like, I, I trust that most normal people can distinguish reality and keep themselves safe, but, like, nonetheless, I'm just, I'm just saying, for me personally. For me personally, I just don't find entertainment in, um, no matter how well written it is. I don't find, um, pointless tragedy piled on top of pointless tragedy with no end in sight very interesting. Or fun to watch. Like, I love me some sad... I love me some pathos. I love me some sad-ass bullshit endings. But, like, it has to be done, um, appropriate... done appropriately. Or at least what I consider appropriately. Again, it's all subjective. You like what you like. Anyone who can't handle it, you can't handle them, that's completely okay, yeah. Suddenly Cosmos comes out, I doubt it. Like I said, the two rares I did get, I got back to back. I feel like that pushed my quota over the, uh, over the edge, I ain't getting nothing else. People write pain in the first place to cope. You write pain to cope with the real pain. Ooh, a four star, very nice. Getting a lot of those. Catharsis thing, yeah. Is there such a thing as a five-star common blade? I don't believe so. If I'm wrong, I am happy to be corrected on that, but I don't believe so. At the very least, I definitely don't think I've ever seen one. Uh, I don't know if keeping the dark has any point or not. I'm gonna start getting rid of them. I just have too many. I don't want to keep getting rid of all my... I don't want to keep getting rid of any um, any of the three stars, because, like, a lot of those actually have abilities that I still need for Merc missions. Goodbye. 
Our things don't really mean much if no one suffered, yeah. Yeah, no, you gotta take the good and the bad. That's life. But yeah, like, as my big criticism with stuff like The Last of Us is, like, the opposite applies. It's like, pointless tragedy means nothing. If there's, uh... If there's no sense behind it. Or no hope to be fat had. That is just... At that point, it's just torture porn. And that I have no interest in. How many do I have left? Twelve. Like, I have no interest in watching people suffer just to suffer, basically. There has to be reason behind it. Had some great voice acting, what, Last of Us? Yeah, I don't know anything about it. Like I said, it, I, I've seen clip Like, I know what Last of Us is. Like, it seems very well made. I'm sure it's fine. If that's your jam, then that's your jam. It is not my jam. <laughs> and running, if you deserve any hopes, it's a hope at the end you're moving on. Yes, exactly, Pumpkaboo, yeah. It's like, you've got to have- you got to have some form of hope in the end. Fuck Zenobia! <laughs> Yo, fuck Zenobia! Cosmos. <laughs> Obey strategical multiple operation systems. <laughs> Yo, girl, you in Smash yet? <laughs> All systems operational. Are you my master? <laughs> yeah! America! Good to know you mentioning this movie brings good luck. <laughs> Apparently, Java. Oh my god. Oh, beautiful. Cosmos. She was a, uh, she was actually a character in Xenosaga, the, uh, the unofficial kind of, not really, uh, predecessor to this game. She's like, she's kind of sort of become like the unofficial mascot of Monolith Soft. So they decided to make her a rare blade in this. She's pretty cool. She's one of the very few, uh, what a precious few light types in the game. Especially if you don't have the DLC. Very cool. Very hard to get. For the record, I'm gonna re- <laughs> For those who don't know, the chance of getting Puck Cosmos out of the rare cores is 0.1%. 0.1. She has a redesign. I love her design so much. She looks so good. She got redesigned for this game. She looks a little different than she did in the original. Is Moth short for Monolith Soft? Nah, it's an acronym. She was a, uh, a sentient weapon, and then, and again, the booster seemed to actually mean nothing, because that was my last truth one. Alright, so Zenobia is officially our white whale. <laughs> Episode title would totally be Fuck Zenobia if we weren't finally monetized on YouTube. Alright, let's just crack open the rest of these. Maybe we'll get lucky. We won't. <laughs> It'd be fu as funny as that would be, because I've had these 25 rare cores since literally the start of the game from the DLC. I think, I think my luck's run out, but then again, I thought that before I pulled fucking Cosmos, so. <laughs> Christ. F Zenobia. F4 Zenobia, F4 Zenobia is pretty funny. It might have to be that. Oops. How about <laughs> Zobia just censor it? That could also be funny. Person talking about Xenoblade 2 characters being better said he'll die on the hill because he's right. I saw that. Charizard, are you thinking of the same thing I'm thinking of? I saw some, I want to say shit post, but I don't think it was being ironic. I saw something on Twitter the other day that was like, again, the, this cherry picking ass argument. It was like for, it, it like spelled out Jin's, it, it's, it mentioned like literally every step of Jin's motivation and why he's a good villain. And then it put next to like the virgin egg yo body and it was just like, oh, God possessed my friend and now I'm gonna kill everyone. Like, Jin wants to kill all the humans too. 
it. Like, it was such, it was the most obvious fucking cherry picking I've ever seen in my goddamn life. Like, just leaving, leaving out as many details as, as possible for Egil to make him seem bad, and detailing Jin's as much as possible to make him seem better. <laughs> like, it was so fucking transparent. Again, if you like Jin better, that's fine. Honestly, Jin is a very good villain. I don't personally think he's better than the final boss of Xenoblade 1, but he's cool. I understand and appreciate his motivations, and he feels like a real person, which is a big deal in this game. Like, I cannot, pra I can't praise him enough. He is absolutely a high point of this game. <laughs> but to fucking... <laughs> Again, like, it it's cherry-picking. Like, that's all, that's all I can say. Like, just, you can make anything sound worse than one thing's... <laughs> you can make any argument sound better if you do that shit. Just leave out all the details. Zenobia, you're breaking my heart. You're shaking my comforting stately. What would Goro and Yoshizawa Showtime be? Hmm. Some kind of I don't I don't know how you do it, but like if you could have like some kind of weird Beauty and the Beast thing, where like she was just beauty, she is grace, and then he just goes aggro. Then again, that'd be too similar to his with Jokers. Him trying to murder her and accidentally killing the enemy. Oh my god. <laughs> That'd be pretty funny. Good to know the guy has a soul. What, Jin? Yeah, no, like I said. Like, I do I do not want to shortchange Jin, because I realize that KM off is pretty condescending when I dismissed him earlier. Like, Jin's a very good character, genuinely. Not even for, not even for this game. Like, Jin, I, I appreciate him. There's a lot of stuff they do with his backstory that I can respect. I just wish he had a better supporting cast. So who's the final blade? It looked like an older version of the electric blade that cries a lot. Uh, from the silhouette, I guess you could see that. We are looking for a young lady by the name of Zenobia. She is a wind blade. She has a great axe. I believe she was designed by the uh, the current artist of the Tales of Games, ironically, <laughs> ironically enough, considering that's going to be the next game we play, I think. <laughs> she's, she's designed by the Tales of artist. Yeah, that's her. That one that keep that that one that showed up second, not the last one. That was her. Like you, I can like I recognize her silhouette. You have no idea how tempted I am to keep going all goddamn night and just keep opening the comments. <laughs> oh my god. You think we need a break from JRPGs? That's what Ace Attorney is for on the weekends. I like JRPGs. You say we need a break, but th this this is my preferred game. Gotta make sure to keep buying boosters of the same type. Did an Ezra's game take all my energy away? What, tonight? No. It didn't take my energy away. Like I said, I was prepared to keep going, genuinely. But just, I, 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 I could have finished it. I know I could have. Because I've been going about as long as I probably would have taken to finish it at this point. But, like, I just... I was getting frustrated with the game. And I, I've... After everything that happened with 1, I think I've come to realize that if I'm getting frustrated with the game, I probably it's probably best that I just kind of keep pacing myself with it. I know I'm open. <laughs> I'm not going to open them all. I'm not going to open them all. I can't resonate with any more core crystals. Go also play Percent of Dancing to take a break. We could look at all these fucking wind blades. <laughs> Why does Investigations 2 get good? It did. 
I and I, I had a fucking blast yesterday. Like I was all in on this case. I was all in on this game. I was all in on the new characters. I was having I was having fun. You could tell. Like I feel like I feel like I'm pretty transparent, and you can tell when I'm having fun, and you can tell when I'm not having fun. I was having a fucking blast yesterday. But like today, for whatever reason, just um, like I feel I feel like the case has worn out its welcome, or is dangerously close to wearing out its welcome. Because, like, there was just a lot of talking in circles about stuff that I found incredibly obvious. That did not need that detailed an explanation. So it was just getting slightly frustrating. Insane for Fortnite's dance would be good for a couple days before we start Sisteria. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I do want to do those at some point. I just don't know. I'm, just, I'm taking a... I'm not... Like I said, I'm, I'm not... I don't want to keep promising stuff and then not delivering on it, so I'm not promising anything. Which is probably not any better. But, like, I'm genuinely kind of taking things one day at a time at this point. Don't rush myself exactly, yeah. Have I ever heard about Demo? Nope. Or Z completely get my own pace. Oh yeah. No, like it like, again, like I said, if um if, like if I were trying to rush through, I'm very you have no idea how tempted I am to go back into the story and just rush through this chapter so I can get my full party back. But there are actually like some semi-important story events coming up that are that I actually am interested enough to to want to show off and talk to people about. And like I said, I do think this game does some stuff well. And um and the next, uh, this next chapter has a couple of cool moments that I actually like. Don't all of AA drag on it. Again, that's happened on occasion. That has. Like, I'm not saying this game is any different in that regard. Like, there have been moments like that in all the games. Again, I think the key difference is... And I could be wrong. Like, I'd love to compare the actual times. Like, I don't know if they actually are or not. But the fact is, the cases, the cases themselves and investigations feel a lot longer. Like, I feel like there is a lot more talking, just generally speaking. I could be wrong, but it feels like it. All that matters is that it feels like it. It feels like there's a lot more talking going on. And in addition, there's no break in the gameplay. With the, with the mainline games... You had the investigation segments, then you had the trials. In this one, it's just constantly investigate, 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 investigate. And I get it. That's the title. That's what I expect. I, I knew what I was in for. But I'm just saying, when they do start talking around in circles like that, and nothing that interesting is happening, and they're kind of just continually establishing stuff that I already figured out in my head a while ago, it gets rough to watch. Link in the Discord? What's link in the Discord? Uh, I don't see any links in the Discord. The most recent post I see is the, uh, the, the Tales of Characters. Oh, oh, asking, asking Flowers to link something in the Discord, my bad. You're pointing out a link in the Discord. <laughs> Could you say please? No. No, I cannot. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh. Flowers, you know they're not ordering you just because you don't say please.
Especially when you just offer right before that that you can like an article about it. <laughs> yeah, good. Java sand, please, for you. Sometimes it pauses. Like, sometimes it pauses on white for just like a split second longer, it feels like. And there's just nothing. Oh shit, didn't mean to do that actually. I can suck getting rid of these now. Guess after the final blade we aren't gonna summon anymore. Nope, yeah, that'll be the end of it. We might do more. We might do one bonus one because I was informed that um Like I said, I, I had thought that one uh one blade was a um was doing a plus exclusive. She's not. She's post-game exclusive, so I don't actually have to start up a new save file to get her. I can just go back to my save from before the final boss and get her apparently. I won't be able to actually. I won't be able to actually do her blade quest or anything. I at least, uh, maybe maybe it unlocks still. I don't know. We'll, we'll we'll find out. There is also um. There is also like I said a couple of uh, a couple of bonus ones that I'm not gonna get into down there. I also still need to get theory. Oh, of course we're gonna get theory. Yeah, these these question mark ones after Poppy Buster. They're not their DLC. I don't have to open any course form, but we will be seeing what they're about. I don't want to spoil the surprise. But we'll do that. Theory is just waiting for me. I'm gonna get her. Okay. <laughs> like, like I said, um... Okay. So we're kind of back... I don't... I still don't think I have... Especially without Rex... Or uh, without Mithra in my party. I still don't... I don't think I have the ability to grind for legendary cores yet. But honestly, that's fine. Frankly, when I only have one left, I might just keep going for rares. <laughs> so, um... <laughs> Nighty night Java, hey, that's fine. That's what I'm getting ready to do, too. But, yeah. Uh, they, they keep taking away my fucking party members, so it's so frustrating. <laughs> but, hey, at least, what the fuck are you looking at? Go away. <laughs> but, alright. At least I'm at a point where I can do more stuff off-screen again. I have more quests, new merc missions, everything with a new chapter. So, that's something I can at least do in the meantime. We will pick this back up tomorrow. We'll probably get back on the plot railroad so I can, um, you know, so I can get my party back. I might go ahead and grind for more rare cores, like I said, since those are easy to do. Uh, otherwise, yeah. Uh, fuck Zenobia. <laughs> Alrighty. Thank y'all for coming out. Special thanks. Charizard, you are, like, super behind. <laughs> I don't know if you're responding to me or what. If you're trying to start shit, I don't know what to tell you. If you like Xenoblade 2, play Xenoblade 2. Xenoblade 1's better. Thank y'all for coming out. Special thanks to the Go-Kart and above patrons. If you want to help support me, Ivy, Ian, Video Ranger, Xenoblade, Fuck Zenobia. Peace out. Nighty night. Love you guys.